What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, we are ranking the 10 best heroes in Star Wars, according to me. There may be spoilers for certain books and comics and TV shows, video games, movies, you know, in this video, so we've been warned. But uh, I'll try to keep the spoilers light. So even if you haven't seen Red, it won't spoil anything. Uh, please consider leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button, and maybe the notification bell as well for uh, more Star Wars videos like this one. Thanks, and now back to the ranking. Number 10. Coming in at the bottom is Kanan Jarrus, or Caleb Doom, from Star Wars Rebels and A New Dawn novel. This guy wasn't knighted until just before A New Hope due to Order 66 and him being a young Padawan when it had happened. He was the Padawan of Jedi Master Depa Balaba, at least in canon. In Legends, I don't think uh, Depa Balaba had a, uh, an apprentice. But, uh, anyways. Yeah, he's, he's here for, you know, yeah, although to be on the list, pretty good achievement. Number nine. Uh, ninth is the senator from Naboo, Padme Amidala. Uh, she's from the prequels in the Clone Wars. She married Anakin and was part of what is essentially the very early rebellion, along with Bail Organa and Mon Mothma. She's one of a small group of senators, uh, who is not corrupt, so... And, uh, and she's obviously the mother of Luke and Leia. Yeah, she's a pretty cool character. I like her in Clone Wars a lot. She's really interesting. It's a shame that they had to cut the her scenes in Revenge of the Sith about her... You know, they, they cut her scenes where she's doing basically senator stuff. But it, it's cool because it kind of sets up the rebellion essentially, so I wish they would have left that in there. Number 8. In the 8th spot is Plo Koon, uh, an alien Jedi from the planet Keldor. He sat on the Jedi Council and is the Jedi who brought Ahsoka Tano to the Jedi Order. A pretty good pilot, he also looks cool and uses a blue bladed lightsaber. Um, this guy just looks cool, you know? I'm a big fan of aliens in Star Wars and this guy is he's an alien and he's a Jedi. What's more to like? Yeah, so it's cool that in Clone Wars we got we got to hear him talk and he got to do stuff because in the movies he's just kind of a background character. Number seven. Uh, coming in at the seventh spot is Kyle Katarn from Dark Forces and the Jedi Knight series of games. Uh, he has struggled with the dark side but ultimately overcame it. He was also a former Imperial. He eventually became one of Luke's best students and taught others the way of the Force. And this guy. He's just a Han Solo type, but you know, as a Jedi, so he's cool. Number six. Sixth is the chosen one himself, Anakin Skywalker from the prequel trilogy and the Clone Wars. This former slave and pod race champion is quite capable and extremely loyal to his friends. He's married to Padme and is friends with Chancellor Palpatine. He is also Obi-Wan's former Padawan. I, I like Anakin Skywalker. When I was younger, I didn't like Anakin Skywalker as much because of the movies, you know, but Clone Wars, he's, he really shines in that show, so it's pretty good. Number five, in fifth, is Kit Fisto, the model and Jedi Master from the prequel and from the prequel trilogy and the Clone Wars. This tentacle-headed Jedi is master of form one of lightsaber combat and is master to, no to Nadar Veb, a Mon Calamari who was killed by Grievous. He also had a romance with fellow Jedi Ayla Sakura, a Twi'lek. Well, as I s said with Plo Koon, I like Jedi and uh, aliens, so, and, and he was my favorite as a kid, so, you know, this might be a little biased or whatever, but... He's still cool. He looks cool, so, you know, when 
and once again, Clone Wars let him talk, essentially, so we got to hear what he sounds like. And we got to do something, so that's cool. Number four. In fourth is Ahsoka Tano, a top Tabuta Jedi from the Clone Wars. She was the Padawan to Anakin Skywalker until she left the Order. She wields two lightsabers for green. She is also friends with Padme and is particularly close with Plo Koon, who had brought her to the Jedi. Again, another Jedi. So, another alien Jedi, so I like Ahsoka. The only problem with Ahsoka is, I guess, uh, Dave Filoni probably will never ever kill her off. She'll always be around somehow, I think, but oh well. Uh, and now uh, some honorable mentions. We have Mace Windu, the master of Vapod, in wielding an amethyst blade. Hera Syndulla from Rebels. She's a Twi'lek pilot and an associate of Kanan Jarrus. And then you have Bail Organa, the Alderanian senator and one of the founders of the Rebellion. And in number three, uh, coming in at third, is Yoda from the prequels, originals, and the Clone Wars. This diminutive, long-lived Jedi taught many Jedi, including Count Dooku. He is one of only a very small amount of people to become a Force ghost. So, and again, you know, he's he's an alien. So, but he's he's Master Yoda. He's got to be on your list at some point. Number two, in in the penultimate spot, uh, there's actually a tie, so I'm, I'm going to kind of cheat, but uh, the tie is between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. Uh, Obi-Wan is from the prequels, originals, and Clone Wars, and Luke from the originals. Kenobi is the master of Anakin and was the apprentice of Qui-Gon Jinn. He is the master of Form 3 and wields a blue lightsaber. He also became, he's also one of the few to become a Force ghost, and he taught Luke. Luke is the son of Anakin and was raised by his aunt and uncle on Tatooine. He became a Jedi Knight when he helped to redeem his father. He established a new Jedi Order and even got married. He wields an emerald lightsaber. And number one is Qui-Gon Jinn from The Phantom Menace and The Clone Wars. He's the one who taught Yoda and Obi-Wan how to become a Force Ghost. He was also Obi-Wan's master, and he freed Anakin from slavery. He wields a green lightsaber and met his end at the hands of Darth Maul. Well, that is the top 10. Well, 11, because of the tie. What is your top 10 heroes? Would you like to see a top 50 Star Wars characters? Tell me in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.